Hey Andy, um, how's it going? Oh hi, I'm good. You? Oh, you know, it's just another day, I guess. Yeah, it sure is. Hey, Quinn. What time did class start? 10.15. It's March. How do you not? Know? Yeah, sure. It's a bit cool for this time of year, though, huh? Yeah, I'm glad we got the tunnels, because otherwise I'd be dying. Yep, that's true. Yeah, funny story, actually. That's how I was late. Got lost down there. It's kind of confusing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, plus the math makes no sense. Like, am I supposed to use the elevator, or really? Come on. You just follow the signs. How do you possibly get lost? Yeah, well, you know the... Look, you don't actually have anything to talk about. So why are you talking right now? Right, jeez. <sighs> Wyatt said he's out? Well, I can't say I'm surprised, I mean... Yeah, he didn't seem super excited to be involved. <laughs> right. And if nobody steps up to co-write, I could, like, ask my roommate, maybe. Oh, that'd be cool. Is there real house, or...? Yeah, majoring in communications. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and, you know, just get back to me on that sometime soon, and we'll see what's up. Yeah, I'll let you know. Um, I actually sent over a list of points I want to cover. Received. Checking those out right now. Oh, sweet. Well, all set then. Okay, well, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Did you just volunteer me for something? I'm sorry, what? You just volunteered me for a project, didn't you? I said I'd ask you if you were interested. There's a difference. No, that's the problem. You just created an expectation that by offering me up like that. You're allowed to decline the offer. And besides, I haven't even told you anything about the project. That's the problem. You just offered me up for something without even telling me what I'd be. Don't use your fear of trying new things to make me look like the bad guy. I don't have a fear. I... You absolutely do. I should know because I'm the same way. Oh, in what way is that? I push away other people in my life, at least. So you have a problem with self-sufficiency? Is that what it is? No. No, Quinn, that's not at all what I'm saying. Well, if you have a point, I'd love to hear it. Are you planning on telling me what you are saying? It'll probably be more to you if you figure it out for yourself. Wow! Yeah. Um, hi. I, I haven't heard from my roommate in a couple of days. Like, he hasn't gotten back to me at all. Um, Andy Knobel? It's K-N-O-E-B-E-L. Yeah, he's a second year. It was Tuesday, I, I think. Yeah, he left sometime in the afternoon. I don't know when. Oh, for questioning, or...? 
Yeah, um, I could do that. Yeah, um, absolutely. Thank you. Quinn. Quinn Tomasi? Pleasure. Now, uh, tell me about Andy. Well, he's my roommate. Um, we both live on campus. I think his major is journalism. I could be wrong. Look, only thing separating me from that information is a middleman admin. You gotta give me a little more here. I mean, we barely talk much. We got randomly placed. Okay, let's try this. Do you know any of his friends or family? I barely know what his schedule is like, let alone have I heard about his family. Can you be a little more sympathetic here? I'm sorry. Was I letting myself slip? I'll try harder. Hey, whatever happened to help me out here? You gotta do some of the work. My apologies. I just have next to no information. But the information that you do know could give me some clues. Okay. Um, well, what I do know is that we argued a little before he went missing. Oh, that's so. What, is that sketchy? That a college student is getting in arguments? Please. I was breaking shit in drunken hazes in school. Thanks, that helps a lot. Glad to be of service. Now, what were you two arguing about? I mean, let's just say it wasn't a good reason to be arguing. I got frustrated that he offered me for some creative role and some kind of project. Sounds like a nice gig. Why get upset? I mean, I just feel like he volunteered me to the others without even asking me first. and I just kind of lost my cool on him. And he got irritated too, and, and then he left. And? That's it. I don't know. He hasn't come back or answered my phone calls or texts or anything. I've been kind of thinking about what I said, and it was pretty unfair to me to be that way. Yeah, I know. I'm running my mouth. This isn't therapy. <laughs> isn't it, though? Pretty much everyone who comes in here dumps all their baggage out at once. I get emotional whiplash weekly. Comforting to hear from someone in your position. Hey now. Sorry to cut you short, but maybe you should take lunch around now. Of course you do. Yeah, so is there anything else you have that may help us in finding this Andy Knoble? Scared me. Hey, Jason Quinn. Hi, have you seen? Uh... Uh, I'm pretty lost down here. Crazy, huh? Yep, insane. I I'm looking for this. Oh, uh, what person... is anything about that? Pretty empty down here. Look, no, it just it went this way. It was wearing a Minnesota hoodie, and it had like no face. You know, you sound like you're high on something. Are you high on? Something? Listen, I've had a really shitty couple of days. My roommate is missing. I think I'm hallucinating, and the only thing that's going to satisfy me is if I figure out what I'm seeing is real. Does that make sense? No. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? I'm gonna go now. Talk to anybody on campus about these tunnels and they'll tell you all their superstitions. Here are you card guys. I guess I can't film inside a bathroom. Huh? That'd be dumb. How many laws I'd be breaking? Good God, imagine having a room in down here. This place is a maze. are so narrow, like, touching this. So, how often would you say you use these tunnels on a daily basis? Probably like twice a day. Yeah, and would you say you're creeped out by them at all? <laughs> I mean, not really, but if I'm down here and I hear a sound, I guess that's kind of scary. 
Yeah, totally. I have heard though, people say that you know Goldie lives down here and he's gonna like get you up or whatever. Oh, <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah, I thought it was a lot but it's a lot more normal right now. Stop looking for answers. Good to hear from you. It's Quinn. Yeah, yeah, right. Anyway, you've been doing some digging here at the office, and we're starting to now suspect foul play in your case. I excuse me? Neat, huh? Bet you didn't, didn't suspect yourself. <laughs> what? Why in the world would I? Yeah, we got an anonymous tip. Said you were, let's just say, a prude individual. What? I would never hurt anyone. Just because I'm short with people sometimes doesn't mean- Or short to Mossy, please. That's enough. A personnel will take you away shortly. Monsieur? Indeed. Now, not to sound cliche, but I believe you have to talk to the judge. It's alright if you're not okay. I understand. No, don't give me that. My problems are my own. Yeah. And you create them for yourself. Do I need to call someone? Make the right move, Quinn. I... I already did. Then, trust in the process.
walls are closing in I'm hopelessly hoping they'll open up again Coping, I'm floating like Mohammed I'm probably awfully quiet now Cause I'm screaming at the voices in my head to quiet down It's like I'm trapped inside a room of my impending doom Never ending hallways filled with empty promise too No way out in sight, I don't know what the fuck to do So I look to the light, but all I see is blue With a little black mixed in two bruises Pack a punch enough to knock me straight out of my shoes Pick yourself up, bitch, you don't have much time to lose It's them and you, it's time to choose If you don't want to hide the truth Then stop trying to find excuses Cause that kind of mindset is useless I don't ever relax, cause even the aftermath Don't mean that the act is up I gotta watch my back, cause all of my demons are on the attack And if I'm not fast enough, I know they'll be doubling back And then it's work I hate these things I can see in my head when